up, y'all? It's King Brittany Chanel. You already know. So, honeys, Monique has spoke on Steve Harvey's show coming to an end. Um, and also Lee Daniels um, and his two shows coming to a close. And basically, she kind of says that she doesn't get joy from another person's, um, the seemingly, the demise of another person. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that. And I'm also going to talk about integrity versus money on this uh, video today. So definitely make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope y'all enjoy the video. All right, my honeys. So I just recently did a video on Steve Harvey and how he lost kind of like two gigs. And basically, y'all know that he basically, from what they're saying, they he basically wanted a bigger payday. So he, you know, went for a better deal with his situation for his show. But that caused NBC to lose a lot of stake in the show. And so I guess like a lot of people were saying... Well, the reports were saying that that could have been a reason on why Steve is no longer coming back to the air and why they gave Kelly Clarkson the spot. But they haven't formally came out and said why they're not bringing Steve back to the air and why Kelly Clarkson is getting the spot. But also, you know, it could be a reason on why NBC also replaced him as a host on um, Lil Big Shots. So basically, y'all remember... When Monique went on Steve's show, and I talked a little bit about this, like Steve was talking to Monique about, you know, oh, you can't, we can't, we got to flex a different way and all that stuff he was saying, and this is the money game. And Monique was like, it's about the integrity. Um, what about the integrity? So I'm going to talk a little bit about what I felt about this whole situation and the reason that i'm bringing this up is because monique basically did a live with her husband and you know people have been on social media dragging steve harvey and saying that's what steve and lee daniels get for not supporting monique and basically saying that they was not millie rocking all the way down the block but shucking and jiving all the way down the block if y'all get what i'm saying so basically steve's whole career steve has been known for you know, appearing like he be shucking and jiving, if y'all know what I mean, or tap dancing for them folks, okay? So, that's just what people's opinion of Steve I, that I've seen, okay? Um, but the interesting thing about it was, is that people have the video of Monique being on Steve's show and them talking about the money game and integrity has started to be resurfaced, you know, and Monique decided to get on her show, on, you know, her YouTube channel and, and alive and talk about how she does not get joy out of these people losing their shows because you're not supposed to uh, laugh at another person's calamity because then God will stop that and you don't want that same portion to be on you. So you just, when somebody is being, you know, stuff is happening to them for whatever reason, whether y'all feel like that's their karma or, karma or whatever, you're not supposed to laugh at another person's pain. Like that's just, if they going through what they going through and they got to pay for the consequences of what they've been doing, then that's one thing. But to try to add, throw salt in the wound and stuff, that's not your job. So I completely under, like understood her or had an overstanding of what she was saying when she basically said that she didn't get joy out of that because she also with the lee daniel situation she said with his two shows not coming back there's other people that work on the shows that they now are out of a job and you know build certain bills and stuff is not getting paid because they could have been accustomed to living a certain way you know with a certain amount of money coming in so i completely um understood what she was talking about when she was talking about that then she started talking a little bit about um once again this whole situation with this integrity and money game situation now i'm gonna just come out and say Steve was telling the truth to her um, when they had the conversation about the money game. It's either you get to get your money and be quiet or you not going to work. And the reason why I'm saying this, and I'm not saying this to, um, you know, to really be 
mean to people, but I think that um, people who refer to themselves as black or whether you consider yourself African American or whatever, they need to really get an understanding of what I'm about to say. And hopefully this is received with nothing but love. And hopefully if Monique, you know, I'm just, I'm just about to speak 100% facts. Monique is absolutely correct when she says that you should be integral. But it sounds so fake and disingenuous that you're talking about an industry that we know has certain morales and things that they they are into that you know that might not fit into, you know, integral morals. We'll just say it like that. They have a standard that they put forth because they've built their infrastructure. And then there's what you find as integral. So somebody that has any integrity for real, for real, they would not want to be a part of the industry any type of way. Because we've heard the stories from different celebrities, different people in the industry and the stuff that goes on. So it's a lot of things that, you know, they have during, you know, that people have to do according to their standard. That's all I'm saying. So if you was an integral person, I just kind of feel like Monique was full of it when she was talking about the integrity part and all of that. And then furthermore, I feel like, let me get to why Steve and what he's saying is correct. Because they're both correct, but here's, I'm just going to break it down why each of them are correct. Monique is correct. You should be an integral person, but a, a true integral person is not going to want to be a part of a certain industry or a certain standard of things that is going on in a certain place that you know what's going on you know they ain't gonna change and you just you just want to be a part of that and Monique acting like she doesn't know that she has to play the game she knows that so I don't understand what she expected but Steve was telling the truth about playing the game and even if you play the game, it still ain't no guarantees as we're seeing with Steve. It's like, this is the overstanding that I feel like people like Monique need to come to, just come to a conclusion of. And as she started mentioning the civil rights era, and I'm happy that she mentioned that because around that time is when black people or, you know, people that refer to themselves as black, African-American, whatever you want to call yourself, Okay, I, you know, they started to beg to be a part of these organizations, to beg to be accepted. And the conclusion that people, I really pray that people come to is that you have to be okay if these people never accept you. You have to be okay with that. You cannot, and this is me talking about Monique. You, they have their infrastructure set up the way they set this set up and they have their rules and standards the way that it is. And they have the right to do that because that is their infrastructure. If you have a problem with that, you don't beg them to, to, to treat you fairly or to accept you. You go and create something of your own or either you do like Steve said and you play the game. But if you're not going to play the game, then it's, you might as well go away and shut up. That's just what I feel. That's And they've already made their choice. Like she started mentioning Tyler and, you know, Will. But she started mentioning all these other people and they've already made their choice. They're like, listen, I'm getting my bag. I'm not about to be coming out trying to, you know, do all this expose type of stuff. And you honestly think that doing that is going to um, make them change. They're not about to change for you. Even in the word, it say, no man owe you nothing but to love you. And I think that people have this bugged out ideology. Like these people, if they have never liked you, why would you beg to be? This is why I say that the civil rights era and a lot of older people have talked to me about this. It kind of made a lot of issues for, I would say, blacks that you know, people that refer to themselves as black or African-American people, it made a lot of issues for them because 
a lot of them you see beg for acceptance or beg they beg to be in the schools they beg to be um they beg to be in the magazine these people magazines they beg to be on their runways they beg to be in their music industry literally like it's so crazy like y'all i tell y'all i was watching rami on hulu and it's a good it's a good tv drama um about a muslim young man um and you know the, his you know it's his struggles and you know a comedic spin on his struggles and things that he go through it's, it's kind of like a comedy and it was a scene in there let me know if you watch rami down in the comment section below it was a scene in there where his uncle was talking to his father his father was coming home from his job and he said basically you know i feel so bad for you you having to work to provide for your family and be at the disposal of another man like he basically was saying that that's pathetic in 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 not so many words and i've noticed that other cultures have that ideology they rather do and build up for their legacy than to build somebody else's legacy they're not looking for people to give to to try to bend the rules or to accept them they just go and do and i think that that's a huge issue in the quote-unquote black community afro-american community whatever you want to call them and we see this via monique it's like a delusional type of state these people have already built their infrastructure that is the industry they're going to pay you what they want to pay you and that's what they deem you worthy of if in fact you are not happy with that go and do something for yourself or you play the game and be quiet that's just i mean steve what he was saying was correct but you know obviously i'm not you know i i still look at steve the way that i look at steve because it's like playing the game is just like you know working a job you're at the disposal of somebody else you feel me like i feel like the civil rights era it kind of hurt a lot of like black people were doing a lot for themselves prior to that you know on schools on hospitals on law offices they were doing a lot you know and they just were so they so much wanted to be a part of and wanted to be treated fair in a system that was not created for them. I don't know how to ex keep explaining this to people. I feel like and when you say that, they, they get upset with you for saying it. But I'm like, something is mentally off when you're begging for acceptance from a uh, infrastructure that was never designed for you. They don't owe you anything. And you're still just like, oh, I, you know, you, like you're going to come in and tell them what the rules. That's the, that's the same thing I was saying about the, uh, the young man who the person owned the church and the young man wanted to keep, um, coming to the church dressed a certain way, you know, that was not in accordance to what the church was about. Like it was a Christian church and the young man, um, wanted to dress i guess i don't know like in a way i'm gonna just say in a way and the pastor had everybody talk to him and to tell him like in the rules and in the bylaws of this church you cannot come you know dressed a certain way so different organizations have different standards and they're gonna do what they want to do nothing you're not gonna come in their institution and tell them that you're not either it's like that you're not gonna do this or you're gonna do this and i want you know you you don't make the rules if you're an employee you don't make the rules that's just that's just where that's at i don't understand the delusion if you i'm gonna say it again for the people in the back if you are an employee you don't make the rules so i think that entrepreneurship is the way to um you know i i come from that particular family structure so where you know my mom always instilled that i don't want you working and being at the disposal of another man and honestly i feel like other cultures understand that they do not want to be at the disposal of somebody 
that has the ex- their existence and their family's existence in their hands at their will. They don't. But you see these people, these black people that complain that they don't have representation in these movies, that they don't have representation in these magazines, or they not getting paid what they want to get paid. And it's just like beggars cannot be choosers. Employee ain't a CEO. So it's just like I could understand the frustration But at the end of the day, you have to eventually come to the conclusion that you have to go out and get it for yourself. I just didn't understand where Monique was coming from. Like, Monique, they have the right to tell you what they're going to pay you. You are the high, even though she the talent, you kind of like the hired help, kind of. You the hired help. If you're not an owner of something, you are the hired help. You are the employee. And I'm not saying that to be disrespectful because a lot of people work and they do what they have to do and you have to sometimes do what you have to do until it's a better opportunity for you. But I'm just talking about this whole Monique situation. Monique is in a delusion if you ask me. Like, you're expecting these people to do to accept you, to treat you fairly, and you're begging You're talking about integrity and you're begging to be a part of an industry that we know their standards are not, you know, the most integral. Come on. Like, if you look at the whole situation and Steve, whether he was tap dancing or not, at least he was telling the truth about what he was saying to her. Like, Monique, he said, literally, I'm going to put my integrity to the side. I'm not going to have integrity, basically... And me trying to make a point, make my whole family crumble and and for me to be poor. So he already was letting y'all know on that whole line that he was saying is that, listen, I'm going to be quiet. I'm going to get this money and I'm going to just get with the getting. I'm going to tap dance and I'm going to do what I need to do to get this check. And he was talking about, you know, Monique, you can't flex like that. But he was not lying. You cannot go in these organizations that have set rules and they have their standard and think you're about to tell them what to do. Do the Walmart employees run Walmart? <laughs> oh, that's why I don't really understand the whole why people think the voting process actually works in a corporation that is uh, the U.S. You really think that you are hourly wage worker and you running phones? Like, no, no, that's not how that works. And that's just, honestly, you know, and then when you do go and try to, to, to make, you know, these bigger film companies and record labels, you see what happens to those folks. So it's like either you're not going to be a part because you want to keep your integrity. You're not going to be a part. Or you're gonna play the game like how everybody else is playing the game and get your money and be quiet. I don't I don't see there no other way that this is ending. You know, I don't I don't see what other resolve Monique is looking for. I Monique just has to come to the conclusion, just like a lot of these people, you have to be good with the apologies that you may never get in life from people. You have to be good with um the fact that somebody may never like you. You know, that somebody may never accept you. And even in the word, you're not, you know, it says that you're not supposed to be, you know, in love with things that are of this world. And they have their world-like system. So you can't, you're in the world, but you're not supposed to be of the world. So obviously, if you're talking about all this integrity, then obviously you would know that there's some things that you would have to miss out on if you're not willing to do to be a part of the world you know that just I mean I don't understand what else she's really expecting I feel like a lot of people have this delusion when it comes to this it's either you're a part and you're you beg to be accepted and you beg to to be in their institutions and stuff because honestly if we're really being real I had a lot of old school people tell me this You know, from the civil rights era, there's a lot of old school people that basically said, you know, it was a lot of black businesses prior to the civil rights movement. They were telling me, you know, I even had somebody from the old school tell me, you know, it was no, even my mom was like, you know, it was no such thing as black. It was no such thing as African-American. 
And my mom, you know, told me all the stories about how they would come around with the census and stuff like that. Um, just a lot of stuff. Like, I'm telling you, if you talk to some older people, honey, they'll give you the real tea about life. You know what I mean? And honestly, I think a lot of people, like a lot of, you know, the quote unquote, or people that refer to themselves as black or African American, I think it's a lot of stuff that they focus on that they should not be focused on. It's a lot of complaining, but I really feel like we... I wouldn't even say okay so I don't believe that we are we you know oh we should all come together because honestly even God said he gonna separate the wheat from the tares and there's different tribes and nations and stuff like that so what I do believe is when I think back to the old time people were very self-sufficient they were very self-sufficient they had a trade whether they were like a blacksmith carpenter they knew how to do a lot of stuff um, you know, even when I think about my own family, you know, how some of my, uh, Grammys, I'ma call them, my grandmas, they were, you know, they were able to be a seamstress. They knew how to sew and they knew how to cook and be self-sufficient. You know, you know, even my own mom teaching me how to garden and everything to know how to farm and stuff and, 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 you know, plant and everything. And we don't really have that anymore in this quote-unquote, uh, what they refer to as the black community. We don't have that anymore. We just have a lot of people just expecting people to just, I mean, you know, oh, I want acceptance, I want equality. And honestly, people might have to come to the conclusion that there's some people that might just never, ever accept you. And that's okay. But it's like, if you continue to beg to be a part of these organizations, you just need to prepare yourself to understand the fact that, or come to the overstanding that (laughs) you're probably going to be under their subjection or be told to do what they want you to do. So it's like, if in fact that you don't want to do that, you might have to go and create an avenue or a lane for yourself. I'm just saying, you know, because I see this a lot from you know, actors and actresses complaining. Um, And, oh, I was watching Jesse Lee Peterson on The Fallen State with Amara La Negra, and he tried to explain that to her, and she kind of was looking delusional. And it's like, you have to come to that. You have to have enough self-esteem and love yourself enough to know that if if this person don't do nothing for me, if this person don't like me, you have to you have to find the you have to find it within you to be like I'm going to be good. You have to. So I just this is just my thoughts and two cents on this whole um Monique and Steve integrity versus the money game. Honestly, you know, just a recap If Monique was integral as she said she is, she would not be begging to be a part of the institutions that she's begging to be a part of or to try to be a part of that if she's saying that they're not treating her fairly. And you shouldn't expect for those people to treat you like that. Like, you should... I mean, that's their institution. That's their infrastructure, what they've built. Steve, you know, on his part... He's telling the truth, like, you know, if you want to get paid, you got to play the game. You can't be going, um, making a fuss. And he's, he's choosing, like he said, to do that. His family and him is not going to crumble because he want to make a point. So, you know, he we seen that whether you play the game or not, when you play the game, that's just a part of the game. You know, Steve missing out on two opportunities and, you know, he hopefully he get another opportunity to do him on another network or whatever, but it is what it is. What are y'all's thoughts about, you know, I, I did, like I said, um, enjoy that Monique says she does not enjoy getting, um, you know, joy out of somebody else's demise. Cause that is true. Um, but what are y'all's thoughts on integrity versus the money game? Leave your thoughts down below. It's King Brittany Chanel and I will see y'all on the next video. Thank you.